All right, Rad Reelers. We got some sheep's head here that we've had in the refrigerator chilling overnight, and we're gonna get these cleaned up three different ways. Nine. All right, guys, method number one, how to fillet a sheep's head. I did this the other day in a video, but we're going to do it again because I discovered from Blair Wiggins on Addictive Fishing that right here, right where that dorsal fin is, right about there, you can take your knife and you can just push it in between the skin and the dorsal fin, and it'll go right in there and it makes filet and sheep set a whole lot easier. So that's the first thing I wanna do. And I'm gonna be careful to always keep the knife blade pointing away from me. And if it is coming towards me, I'm not cutting very hard, okay? So I'm gonna just puncture my knife in there, good, good sharp point right there. And then I'm gonna keep that filet knife nice and flat to the, to the bone. I'm just gonna take it back that way. Now I'm gonna come back in this direction a little bit, but when I do, you guys, I always like lift my arm up, okay? In case that knife ever slips, I'm not gonna cut myself, okay? So I'm gonna get back in that position underneath the skin right there. I'm gonna hold this sheep's head in place, and I'm just gonna, whoop, I'm just gonna just very gently, just gently, my knife is really sharp, and to cut through that skin and see how I'm lifting up on the skin and the meat right there. I'm just going to fillet that right on up in that direction. Somebody made a comment the other day that I left some meat on the head. So I have filleted that thing up as far as I can get it up there to get all the meat in that direction. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to fillet this back in the other direction, lifting up the skin and keeping the knife at a downward angle and just running it right tight to that backbone oh yeah that little trick from Blair Wiggins makes fillet and sheep head so easy by poking the knife in there like that now when I get back to this point right here guys where I'm right right across from the anal fin what did I do is I, I take my knife and I just stick it all the way through at that point and then I fillet back a little bit more but I don't cut all the way through the fillet, I leave it attached to the tail. It just makes it easier. I feel like it makes it easier, easier that way. So now I'm just gonna come back here. You can, you can see I got that nice and nice and tight to the bone. That's looking really good. Now, in order to help me keep the knife going away from me, okay, I just spin this fish around like that. Now the the knife is going away from me again. I'm gonna kind of always pinch the skin right here, okay, with my, my fingers. Get it under there and pinch the skin. I insert my knife right where I pushed through, okay? And lifting up on the skin, I just cut a little bit more. Keep it tight to the bone there. Cut a little bit more right there. Now, once I've done that, I can keep that skin pinched like this. I can slip my knife through, okay? Now the knife is cutting away from me again, and in no way is it coming towards me. I think that's like really super important when you're learning how to clean fish. Okay, once I do that, I pinch that skin. See how I'm lifting the meat up out of the way on that side? I'm lifting it up out of the way on this side, and I'm lifting it up like that with my fingers. I'm gonna push the knife through, okay? And I've got this leverage point right here where the skin is still, still attached to the tail so I can really pull on that fish as I'm pushing the knife through. Okay, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm pulling on the fish, and I'm pushing the knife, keeping that meat up out of the way. And there's a soft spot in there on the ribs. You can hear that where it goes through. Just work that back and forth. You can cut that all the way through. Once you've done that, you can come up here. You can make that cut around in that direction on the head. All right. I can spin this around and make sure it's I'm not cutting towards my hands. Okay. I can hold back here like that. I can come in here and just poke that in that way and I can cut that meat all the way up in there like that to the head. Spin that around. Just keep that knife going away from me, okay? Lift it up. 
At no time now when I filleted that did I actually have the knife going towards my hand that I think. Now sometimes when I fillet fish, I do have the knife going towards my hands because I've got it, done it so many times now that I know when to be careful. But you know what guys, all it takes is one slip and uh, it could be a trip to the emergency room. Don't want that to happen. All right, so now that I've got that, that fillet is attached like that, all right, what I'm gonna do instead of like skinning that meat off of there, I'm gonna take that and I'm gonna flip it back over on the fish because I really feel like when that other meat, when the meat is on the other side of the fish, that it's easier to fillet this side. All right, so I'm gonna do just this, the very same thing that I did on the other side. I'm just gonna start way up here on the head and I'm gonna make my cut down in that direction. And even though my hand's here, the knife is not pointed towards my hand. Okay, it's going in a, in a downward direction. I am not cutting towards myself at all. Just take that and just cut it straight down like that. Now I'm gonna spin the fish around. Now I'm gonna find that entry point. It's these, these fins right here, that entry point, it's, it's somewhere around that, that second, yeah. <laughs> Let me get this right here. Somewhere around that, that third dorsal fin that comes up right there is the entry point right there. So I've got my hand up here. I've got my arm is up out of the way. And I'm going to just slip my knife in there. And I'm just going to push that sharp point straight in and just get it underneath that skin and in between the, the fin there, okay? Now I'm going to take that and I'm, I'm going to Turn the knife around. I've still got my arm up out of the way. And I'm just going to start cutting back this direction a little bit. Take that back that way a little bit. Now I'm going to lift that skin up. I'm going to get the knife underneath and I'm cutting away from my hand again. And I am laying that all the way up towards the head right there. Nice and tight to the bone. Come back here. See, I've got my hand is here and my knife is cutting in this direction. All right. I can get underneath there and lift, lift that skin up out of the way. I am in no danger of cutting myself at this point. All of my body parts are completely out of the way. All right, when I get right here, by the an we're across from the anal fin, I'm going to just push that knife straight through there. Maybe. There we go. And it's getting mess messy in the kitchen. I'm going to push that through. Now I'm going to take my knife and I'm going to keep it tight to the, the backbone. And I'm pressing down on the fish here. And I'm just going to work that knife just a little, just tight down to the backbone. And I'm not going to cut all the way through that skin. I'm going to come back up here. And I'm just going to lift up on that skin. Just work that down tight to the, the backbone. Once I have that done, I'm going to do the same thing that I did on the other side. I pinch that skin. I push my knife through. Lifting that skin up out of the way. I got my knife in position. And now I'm just cutting right through those ribs. There's that soft spot. It just went right through there. I'm going to come back here and I'm just going to cut that loose wherever I need to cut it loose like that and these are going to be boneless fillets all right so now that I have that done this is still attached I can use this as, as something to grab a hold of as I'm filleting the skin off of the meat okay so I grab a hold of this and I just start my knife nice and slow to downward angle just back and forth until I see that it hits the skin right there. Keep that at a downward angle. Now I can get underneath the skin right here and grab a hold of that. I can get a good grip because the tail, see my finger wedges in between the skin and the tail and it gives me extra holding power and leverage. It's really hard when you cut that filet completely off. You gotta hold down the skin with your fingers and it's just hard that way. So I like to leave it attached to the tail, okay? Just get my finger right underneath there got a good good grip on that good leverage and I'm just moving the knife back and forth at a slight angle downward 
and I'm grabbing hold of the skin and I'm pulling the skin towards me, okay? I got a good grip on that skin. I'm just wiggling it back and forth. I'm really hardly even pushing the knife forward. Just a little bit, I'm pushing it, okay? Got that fillet off there. Now this, the, the rib cage is right here, okay? These are gonna be boneless fillets. I'm just gonna go ahead and take and cut that rib cage out of there. I don't need that at all, okay? And then once that's finished, you guys, right here, you, you can always feel right here, whatever that bloodline is that runs right there, you can always feel a little, a little row of bones right there, okay? What I do is I come back and I cut a V right there to get that row of bones out of there. So come back that way. Just cut that V out of there. There we go. I can feel those little pin bones in there, man. This will get you. Now what I do after that is I just feel that fillet. Make sure I got all the bones. Now I can still feel some bones, right? Right there. Hear that? There's bones right there. So I want to come back. I want to cut those out of there. Don't want boneless fillets, especially if, I mean, don't want bones in my fillets, especially if I'm having company. All right. That's looking good. Sometimes you need to, need to check like right around the areas where the fins were you'll have bones right there too if part of the fin is on. You wanna make sure that you get those off of your filet as well to make it completely boneless. Okay, so there we go. Now before I cook this, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and take time to, to trim off some of that extra blood and stuff that's on the filets. It's just a really mild coating right there. It'll just just cut that right off of there and that'll help the meat to not have a strong flavor but uh yeah you know what that's how you uh fillet a sheep said let me do the other side uh nothing like really difficult about doing the other side now if you're going to cook these on the grill like fillets on the grill you can leave the scales actually on the fillet and this on the skin on the one side if you want to so i'm going to show you um, another couple methods on how to clean sheep's head, you know, like it, it in preparing them to cook them on the grill. All right, guys, so I've got two smaller sheep's head left. Both of the methods that I'm getting ready to show you are going to require scaling these fish. Now, there's places that, fill, that sell fish scalers. You can use a spoon to do this, or you can actually use a, a fork to do this, or you can use a knife to do this, but you're basically just scaling the fish. You're gonna be pulling the scales in the direction towards the head. I'm gonna do it in the sink here rather than up here on the table since I'm in the kitchen, but you're, you're, you're basically just holding the fish tight and then you're just forcing those scales to come off of the fish. And um, yeah, you're just, just like that. That's all you're doing. Just forcing those scales to come off. Now they're flying all over the counter and everything else. I need to get them back in the sink. But you can see that, that spoon works really good for doing that. I really don't have to explain all this. There's just scales everywhere. Just get all of the scales completely off of the fish except around the, the head there. You definitely want to be careful with these peck fins right here. Or maybe this is the peck fin and these are... Uh, oh, I don't remember which one's which. But be careful because these things are really sharp. They will, they will poke you whenever you're trying to fillet. So you might want to use a knife to get underneath those fins like that. Yeah, it's a, it's a bit of, bit of a, a tedious process to get all the scales off. But it's important to get them all off, especially like right up against the fins here and all up in this area. Just work on getting those scales off that are up in there. Yeah, I generally get to some point and I just kind of rinse it off a little bit and then I feel around see I can still feel scales up in this area around in there yeah it's just kind of up around the head area and right in here underneath the the anal fin I didn't get them and uh, uh, right behind the dorsal fin I didn't get them either probably use my, my knife for some of those smaller places yeah, I just started scaling the second sheep's head here, and I definitely say that the spoon works better than the fork. The fork will work, but the spoon has a tendency to kind of catch the, the scales in a bunch where the fork wants to just flick them all over the place. All right, here we go. The next method. I've got my sheep's head scaled. I'm just going to come up here and I'm just going to make a 
cut this way, flip him over, I'm going to cut down that way. Both ways, I'm just going to cut in behind the uh, fin right here, and I'm just going to cut the head completely off. That's the, the plan here. Just push through and you'll, you'll find a, a spot in there. Just cut that through like that. Just pull all that junk out of there. Guy was full of barnacles there. All right, once I've cut the head off and split that around, I can just come right in here in this little hole back here is b-hole and just cut that up okay and then I can just there's a, a little air sack in here air air bladder I can take my knife just lift that up out of the way and just I can cut through that like that that'll help me just clean all that gunk out of there just basically I'm just cleaning it clean out the insides once you get to that point Right there, you can just run it, run it underneath your uh, underneath your water really good, and uh, finish cleaning it up. But that's it right there. So if you were going to cook this on the grill, we just come back here and just put slits in it, like this, on both sides. Slits like that. Then you would just season that up really good with your favorite seasonings and. Uh, cook that up on the grill. Just make sure you wipe it down good with olive oil before you do. Nice good coating of olive oil on the, the grates on the grill so that the fish doesn't stick. But that's how you prepare them to, uh, to grill them. Alright? Now listen guys, kids always always give them fillets where you fillet it and they're completely boneless. Always. Don't don't feed them like this, okay? There's just too many bones in there. It's just too dangerous. I, I don't mess around with that. I don't I don't feed company fish that way, and definitely don't feed kids fish that way. All right, guys. Well, here is the next method, okay? And I want to try and remember to, to cut away from me. But, but what I want to do is I just want to get my, my knife just slightly into the skin here, okay? Like that in the bee hole. And I'm just cutting towards cutting towards the head. All right, I've just got it underneath like that, and I'm just cutting through the skin. I'm not actually cutting into the guts. I'm just cutting through the skin right there. Okay, I'm just going to take that. I'm going to cut that right on all the way up into this area right here. Okay, this is the the method that we're going to use for leaving the head on the fish. So just cut that all the way up through like that. Okay. Once you do that, you can flip flip this guy over like this, and you can get your knife in there, and you're going to just cut right right across that that throat area. And uh, actually, I can just do it do it this way. Just cut across the throat area like that. And then once you've done that, you can pull pull that back out of the way, and get up there and and uh, cut the rest of those gills out. A spot up up here in the top, okay, where you can cut the gills. Just be careful not not to cut yourself. Probably probably use your spoon to help you clean out some of the insides there while the water's running. All right, well, and there you go. That's how you clean your fish to be cooked with the head on. And uh, we just got all those gills cut out of there and all the the goodies on the inside cleaned out. I could still clean it up a little bit more. All right, guys, well, there's three methods that you can use for cleaning fish. Thumbs up or appreciated. You guys get out there and go fishing, man. Life is fun. Live it. See ya.